said the key word is because you found jesus Man. not necessarily because of any other thing but the difference here is you met jesus and the voice that you heard i have forgiven you of your sins now doctor tell us more so after the conversion now people could tell even to the standard on your wedding day people had to come and just witness is it the true osman that we are talking about what happened after yeah um the church um has been like my uncle after my conversion because the rehab center is part of the church okay. so um my home director recommended me to our senior pastor because he saw my commitment my dedication in the home okay. Okay. you know and um so after i completed the home my senior pastor may he so rest in peace his name is pastor joffrey laito so okay. he called me in and he discipled me okay so through that discipleship journey I became mm. one of the leaders in our church. Okay. And I went through a process of discipleship mm. that I believe, you know, has shaped my life and my ministry today. Mm. And I felt the call of God in my life mm. that mm. God was calling me to ministry. So okay. like I mentioned, after my rehabilitation, I found a job as a sport in, sports instructor. And that work was about to end because it was a government subsidized project. Okay. So the qualification for that job is you have to be jobless for at least five years. And I was jobless over eight years because of my drug addiction. That's right. So the government was prepared to send everybody who wanted to continue to a school to learn a trade or to learn a profession. Okay. So in the meeting when they said, okay, we are about to lay all of you off. If anybody wants to go to school, we will pay for your education. I was the first to raise up my hand and That's I right. asked the manager, uh, what they call it, personnel manager, right, from the HR, that did you say any school at all or any form of <laughs> education? <laughs> wow. And they said, yes. So I said, I want to be a pastor. Wow. Would you send me to a school to become a pastor they said yes we will pay for it so god opened that door and i applied for school at tyndale theological seminary okay they only have master degree courses okay and remember it's, i was a school dropout i never tried anything in my life Wow. And here I am, I applied to a seminary to do a master's degree. Oh, wow, no bachelor's. No. So they asked me to write a motivation letter. And this mm. is what I wrote. Dear sir slash madam, my name is Rafik Ahmed Osman. I have never completed anything in my life. But today, I'm a born again Christian. If admitted in your seminary, I believe I will be able to complete because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Wow. Clearly, prayed over the letter and I sent it. So Jesus. the school wrote me back 
and said they would admit me on probation if I'm able to catch up. That's right. Then I'll be enrolled in their Christian studies, which is equivalent okay. to a bachelor. Okay. And it's a one year course, but the whole master's course is three years. That's right. So after two years, the school had accreditation from the Netherlands government. And in their record, they discovered I don't have a bachelor degree. So they called me and said, why don't you go and do a bachelor degree and come back? So they gave me my grades. I went to university of free university is called free university of Amsterdam. And I told them the story I just told you. I'm That's right. Enrolled in a master's degree. I'm almost two years. It's a three year degree. But they said I don't have a, a bachelor's. A bachelor. So I should come here. They look at my grades and they said, You are far beyond bachelor. Wow. So go back to the school. Wow. Let finish your master's and come back here and we would enroll you in another master's degree. Wow. So I went back, finished my Master of Divinity at Tyndale Theological Seminary, came back to Free University and did my Jesus. Master of Theology. Wow. Wow. And today I sit here, I have a doctorate in ministry. So oh, from Jesus. a drug addict to a doctor, in transfer in global transformational leadership wow doctor thank you and thank you this story is very very touching what have you been through what have you survived look at what doctor said himself from a drug addict an armed robber anything you can think about without any hope homeless street boy just bring out the adjectives but now the end product is why he seated here that is why 76 people are watching you now hmm. there are those who are watching on the radio there are those who are watching on youtube we have twitter kindly share this is so amazing this is so touching maybe you are watching us you want to give up in life a muslim a muslim a muslim a muslim is now 